Hey everybody, it's Vic Merck TCG here. Um, yeah, so Bandless came out today. I'm gonna give out my reaction to it. I don't, this is gonna be kind of a low quality video. I'm at work when this is happening. Um, but yeah, Bandless is crazy. The band, uh, the band cards, Aguido Kelbeck, that's kind of, we kind of expected that. Uh, Mathmech Circular, I don't fully understand that one. Mathmech hasn't been doing nothing for a while, but whatever. I never played the deck, so it doesn't matter all that much to me. It sold. Uh, probably should have been hit a while ago, but it's hit now, so that's all that matters. Uh, for limited, if you've been watching the channel for a while, you know I just played Orcas at the um, recent Kissimmee Regional. Now with Harpoor back, um, the deck becomes a lot better. Yes, most people are not going to say the deck is good, but eh, it's whatever. Harpoor coming back is very good for me. Uh, Redox, it's a good card. Um, I don't see getting as much play still. I mean, Blaster and Tempest still don't. So, uh, Airlifter is a pretty good hit for Rescue Ace. I expected it to go to two. I actually was speaking with Roots about the ban list. Probably going to do a ban list video, and then this happens. Um, but yeah. Okay, Unchained Soul of, of Savara. I expected that one to go to one as well. It does hurt the consistency, and if they do make the rank six, they can't have one in hand now. So that's actually pretty good. It still means the Labyrinth deck can play it, and Dark World deck can still play it, because you only really played one anyways. Um, the Sun Avalon cards, I don't know too much about the deck, so I don't know how much that actually hurts the deck or not. Ebb. That card's broken. Um, it's not as good as what it used to be, though. But it, somebody will find a good combo with it. Just like people were trying to do with Ding Long when it first came back. Next, Snatch Steel. Um, I played during the first format Snatch Steel came back. That card was broken. Especially with Infernoid cards coming out. Hidden Armory Infernoids were broken. And they're going to be just as good. Three hit an armory, and then you can also search that card with thrust, and then that searches Snatch Steel and Sil Mills cards. It's pretty good. Um, goes in rivalry and TC Boo. Um, I'm okay with them being hit to one. I feel like goes in and rivalry were hit once before. I, I might just be um, talking out of my ass right there, but I feel like they were hit before, and nothing really too bad was about it. Um, for two. The cards that were semi-limited. God, I'm sorry for messing with my face so much. Dow Wrestler Panker Tops. I love this card. I'm so happy I kept my CRs. I can't wait to play it in my side deck for almost every deck. For Dinos, I'm going to be maining both, and I'll probably be going second again. Too bad we did not get Misk back. It's still at one. It probably should have came back to two as well. It would have been pretty good. Um, that's the... That's enough ball Panker Tops right now. Speed Roy Terror Top, um, it's pretty good for Phantom Knights. Pretty good for um, the new Goblin Rider deck. Overall, it's not that too, do, too degenerate of a, a card right now. And then Sleeping Memory to 2. The deck needed some sort of hit. Hitting the consistency of it. Um, making sure they can't draw 6 during the standby phase. Pretty good for everyone else. Now, the limits. Now, Cash Tier Unicorn. I expected this one to go back to three. It should have probably gone back to three when Arise Heart got hit, but to be thrown, I don't really see the need of it being at two. I expect the Fenrir to go to two, but hey, I'm okay with it still being at three. I like Cash Tear. Cash Tear is the fun deck for me. Um, Fernie Archfiend, um, Demonte Cole, aka Flea. You are welcome for that. Um, he can have fun with that deck again. So can Roots. Uh, if you know about Devontae Cole, you know he is the Infernity God. I can't wait to see what he does with the deck. Uh, Mind Control at 3 is pretty good. Very good for going second decks. Um, to be honest, I might think about siding 3 Mind Control as well. It breaks a lot of boards. Same with Change of Heart, Snatch Steel, and everything else. Just tell all the monsters, you don't need board breakers. You just take everything. Pot of Desires at 3. Um, probably should have happened... A while ago, instead of going from one to two, then back to three, should have just gone back to three. It never really needed to be put to put at one. 
Spell Book of Judgment. Um, the card was very broken a while ago. What, it's been like 10 years, 2013? I don't think it's as good now. Still being able to summon a Dragon from deck, but it's so much easier to out cards like that now. Uh, Sprite started at 3. I don't know if that really needed to go back to 3. I don't know how much it's going to do for Sprite. I know it helps out consistency, consistency just a little bit, but I think it could have just stayed at 2. And the Upstart Goblin at 3. Um, if you're going to play the 37 card deck, just expect to get hit by Droll more often and lose the Droll. Because, um, yeah, that's all I see Upstart doing is getting hit by Droll. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, talk to me in the comments. Let me know your guys' thoughts on the ban list. It was a very interesting list. It was a very big list. Pretty good list. Um, please like, comment, and subscribe. I will try to do videos like this more often, but I will try to make them a little bit better for you. And I got some deck profiles that I think I want to put out soon. Fire Kings, Volcanics, Orcus. Um, probably a Castera list, too. Dino list. I got a lot of stuff that can come out. It's because of this ban list. Alright. This is Vic Merck signing off, guys. Have a nice day.